other garden guys. I'm Jonathan. I'm Tyler. And today, today we're, we're talking, talking about tools. tools. Here I've got just your standard average everyday hose, medium grade. You don't want lightweight, it's gonna bust. You don't want heavy duty, you're not power washing anything, okay? This mimics the rain water. So you don't want too strong of a stream. You're gonna hurt your little seeds, you're gonna bust the leaves. You wanna know, be friendly to our plants. So experts will tell you experts will tell you that this is a hand trowel. Don't listen to them, it's a little garden shovel. And it's perfect for digging cute little holes. Weeding's really good for it if you can't exactly get it out. And yeah, it's just a really good Really good tool to start with and indispensable, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Wow, this is in the way and I don't want it in my garden. Luckily, I've got these. They're called pruners, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them, put them where you don't want the plant anymore and just give it a squeeze. Look at that, now this plant is gone. Find it, squeeze it, throw it. Find it, squeeze it, toss it, okay? Maybe the plant sees you coming. No, it doesn't. Sneak attack. So there you go. Pruners, indispensable garden tool. This tool is a measuring tape. So this garden gnome from top to bottom, it's about 10 and 3 quarter inches. You want to have these. In a garden gnome, fairy garden type scenario, garden gnomes always win, so you want to get the biggest one you can find at Mark's. There's a pretty cool function, you can stop it. So if you don't have a friend, like me, you can measure your beds. So you just start it here, and you just go all the way like that. So this bed, about 134 inches, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good sized bed. You can do a lot in that bed. You can plant things, you can dig holes, you can water it. Um, pretty much the possibilities are endless if you know how much space you got. Little known gardener tip, if you actually, all you have to do is if you clap twice and go, what's up? A brush appears in your hands. So you've got your garden brush and you're just gonna, you're just gonna brush it off give it a good scrub on one side same on the other side don't matter if you get some on you that's part of being in the garden that's part of the fun you want a good stiff brush with some stiff bristles you see how they don't really give I'm putting a lot of pressure in there and they're not really giving and look at that that's a beautifully clean mini garden shovel there you go mini shovel garden mini garden shovel it's a mini shovel for your garden and now it's clean that's gonna last a long time. That's a happy shovel. That's a useful brush. The shovel, the common man's shovel. This dates back to early Gothic period where it was used most. Shovels are great for digging holes, making new beds, and burying treasure. There's a couple different ways you can use a shovel. Probably my personal favorite is you can do two like that. And then you're really in that mother earth, you can kind of come up and see you get quite a bit. So pretty much any of those will work. So you're going to need to set up some trellising rods if you're going to grow tomatoes. So what I did, tied a knot there, that's secure. I'm going to bring it down here to the ground. And I'm going to take this, this is a little camping stake. This came with my tent set. You don't want to have it go in line with the string. You don't want to have it go straight down. You want to have the angle actually going towards your trellising pole, about 45 degrees. And then you're going to put it in at that angle. Last thing you're going to do is you're going to take a third piece of string. You might want to, you could use something sturdier than string. You could use uh, steel wire, but all I have today is string. So I'm, I'm working with that. Bring it across here. So there you have it. Pull one, pull two, string down the middle. 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have tomato plant, tomato plant, tomato plant. And that's just gonna hold it up and it's gonna make a nice tall vine so your tomato plant isn't all floppy doppy. All right, so you could probably fit, I'd say three to four plants. Three to four! Gloves, very important gardening tool. Things are gonna be prickly, things are gonna be spiny. Basically, my number one point is what I'm, you know, what I'm saying is that a gardener's most important tool are his or her hands. And you want to protect that tool as much as you can with gloves. Wow. What a bunch of tools. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's great. A lot of gardening tools. And guys, we have probably about eight tools. Got it all for under $50 combined, and you can see how much we can do with it. So you don't need to go out and buy expensive tools to, have a, to run a good, efficient garden. You can do a lot with a little, and that's one of our main lessons, main takeaways from this video. Good, good. Good work. Good, good.